Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are getting back into the Porsche and hopefully going to sort out lots of little bits and pieces. So it's kind of like a intermittent uh, episode between like the bigger projects I'm doing on the car. Um, yeah, so just like tidying up little bits, uh, paint the bit at the back where I did the panel beating last week. Um, and then I glossed over a few things last episode, like the brakes and bits and pieces didn't really have like a nice finishing photo of it or show you how it looked show you how it looked um so yeah so just a little finishing episode so let's jump into it Okay, and now I've had that done, so I just painted the little bit of contact adhesive around the edge of the rear light, just to add, put the seal on. Like From what I could tell, it was meant to be some on there, um, and I just replaced it and put new seals on it just so it's keeping out any moisture from the light. Um, and then now I'm just getting onto the back panel of the car. So when I panel beat it last time and heated it up to bring that that piece out in the last episode. It's just a few little bits and pieces I want to finish off and, and uh, get pretty straight. It's not perfect, but it's covered by the script, so I'm not too worried. Um, and then, so what I've done is I've chipped off all the, I don't know, when they painted it, they put like bog in it and stuff in the back where the seal for the boot uh, sits. You'll see me click it in, in a little bit. Um, and it's just horrible. And it's just built it up and so, uh, as you see, I just sit here and chip it off. So, got all that knocked out and just give it a bit of etch primer and then a little bit of silver paint. It's not perfect, but you barely see it. And at the moment, I'm really not worried about the paint. I just want to protect the steel. And then once they're dry, we'll chuck them back in, put the script on and move on to something else. Okay, little voiceover while I'm chucking in the tail lights. Uh, I got brought up to it got brought up to me by a friend who said I don't explain things enough. And so if there's anybody out there who has any questions of why I'm doing something or how I'm doing something or what I'm using, just hit us up. Uh, send me a message or post a comment, anything. So on the Porsche script, which is a rear reflector that sits between the two tail lights, I didn't explain why I did what I was doing when I was getting it ready and prepping it to put it back on the car. And so when I was doing the second last episode, so putting the engine in episode, I, uh, I'd filmed it, but I had misplaced the file and I put it in a different folder, so I didn't add it to the end of the last video. So I found it now and it's here. So yeah, it just explains what I did and how I did it and um, just, yeah, everything that I'd missed in the last episode. So, yeah, thank you. So, it's a little uh, reflector that sits in the back of the Porsche, which is along the back there. I need to put a little bit of paint on there, but that's later. So, I've glued on all the pieces on the back and put some new bolts in on some of them and stuff like that, like up here was all busted. And this one needed a bolt and these two needed new bolts. So I've cut them and put them in and then painted the back bit as you've seen. So now we're up to making this top bit look decent. And so got some sandpaper, 
and a little foam pad and I'm gonna keep the way I've always been taught is to run in one direction and the longest direction possible so I'll run all the way along this way back and forth like you can do little bits like here but you want to keep it like this you don't want to be crisscrossing and bits and pieces so nice long strokes as straight as possible so we're gonna do that start with some not so coarse but a little bit I'm thinking I might just take some of these like letters and numbers off because who cares I look a bit cleaner without them and then I'll do the do the same on the tail lights but then I might if I get time paint the black trim bit as well it's meant to be black all the way around the edges but it's just been it's just fallen off a little bit over time so but first up we're gonna stand this one and give it a paint and see how it goes and then if it's good then we'll do these ones so first up a bit of sanding and we'll see how it goes ended up and then I hit it with some prep sole, wiped it all down and then just hit it with a UV stable clear. I did. There we are, all oh, looking good. So all nice and done, just of the handbrakes, um, just of the handbrakes, chuck the caliper on. I just got to adjust this cable here, which is the handbrake cable, just to get it a little bit tighter, just so the handbrake doesn't go through the roof when I try to pull it on. Did the front on both sides. I only showed you one, but jumped and did both. I've now sucked all the brake fluid out of here. So I'll chuck some new brake fluid in, good old Fuchs, um, and then hopefully if I can get someone else over here to give me a hand, I can do the brakes, but here we go, painted all this one up, so it's, the plastic's really sucking in the paint, so it's taken a f quite a few coats, but as you can see, almost there, I might chuck one more on just to make it a little bit more finished. Uh, these are little bits that bolt in through those bits to bolt it down, but exciting thing before we finish today Really exciting is this it Is brand new speedo so it's Porsche uh, Recalibrated back forever ago from what I can find out and so all original The only thing is it's in mile per hour, which is really annoying, but I couldn't find one that was good enough to in kilometers so this will do for now so let's go chuck this beautiful piece back in or actually chuck it in
looking good. So tail lights in, rear reflector in, and this tail light, this uh, corner's got a little bit of damage in it, so the light doesn't fit the best. I haven't uh, chucked the little Venetian bits in there because I'm thinking of pushing the bumper bar in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to leave the gaps there. I'm not too worried about it. But I think I'm going to leave it there. So, reflector in, lights in, bumper bar on, a few other little bits underneath. I connected the heater boxes to the car. It's like a little fabric uh, tubey thing. Chucked it on. I didn't film it because you can't really see much under there while you're doing it. Um, yeah, a few little bits and pieces. I chucked uh, this rear pe the air rear engine cover piece on, which I painted up and painted gloss. Right. Just nicer finish, easy to wash, and looks a bit nicer. So that's done. So next up, interior and all those little bits and pieces. So yeah, hopefully get to take it for a drive pretty soon. So pretty keen. Please keep up to date. I've got videos coming out every two weeks. Uh, yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers.